Okay guys, in this quick video we're going to look at a common point of confusion for the new uh, Facebook Pixel. So if you run a campaign and you set the objective as uh, website conversions, even if inside the ad set you set a specific event like add to cart, uh, for instance in this campaign and I'm looking at the reporting at for right now, um, this we're, we're running with the uh, optimization objective of add to cart. and you can see here, like I've got 4,200 conversions listed when I look at the results and I'm in the ad manager um, reporting interface here, just an ad manager. Sorry, I know you can't see that, but I just wanted to hide um, some proprietary information. But uh, so if I hover this, it's like I got 4,200 conversions and seven cents per conversion. So at first glance, if you're new to the, uh, the new Facebook pixel, you might think, wow, I'm getting add to cart for seven cents. Uh, per add to cart, but that's not really the case. If you hover this 4,200, you'll see I actually have 897 uh, add to cart, but I've also got all my other events in here listed as conversions. Um, so a lot of times that actually leads to people saying, well, why is, I set my objective as add to cart, why is Facebook optimizing for all these other events? And the truth is that they're not optimizing for all these events. It's just kind of one of the uh, I would say like side benefits of the new pixel is that you you can see all of this in one um, kind of in one view like with the old conversion pixels if you didn't have your objective set to be like old conversion pixel lead you wouldn't be able to report on uh, purchases from from an old conversion pixel so one of the benefits of using the new uh, conversion pixel is that um, I can actually you know, in my reporting interface here, if, if I go to my, you know, columns, which is off screen here, but if I go to columns, which is just up above and to the right here, and I pull in like cost, you know, how many leads, what's my cost per lead, how many purchases, what's my cost per purchase, then I would be able to see all this stuff in one reporting view uh, versus with the old pixels, if your objective wasn't set, like in this situation where our objective is set to add to cart, um, I would only be able to see how many add to carts and, and the cost for those. I wouldn't be able to see my cost per purchase. So it kind of like consolidates things across events, which is really handy if you're trying to do reporting. You know, sometimes you find that you run an, uh, an ad set with an objective of add to cart and you end up getting cheaper purchases than if you ran with the objective to purchase. And a lot of that has to do with your frequency of your conversion event. So remember that Facebook needs to have enough activity to to optimize on in order to really figure out what you know out of your target market or your audience where is the most profitable little corner of that audience and if you're not giving it enough action um they you know it's harder for them to find that uh most profitable point so anyways that's that's part of an faq uh you can check out the blog post digitalmarketer.com i'll put the url in the uh description but appreciate you checking this out. Hopefully that helps clear up uh, some of the confusion.